WON YouTube Networks is now on Facebook. Check it out. This is WON Brooklyn. Tonight's contest is Ron Guidry. This is his fourth start. He's been in three. One and all record. His area is way up there at 8.38. He's pitched 19.1 innings pitched, but again, the record says it all. This is his fourth start. He only has one win. The rest have been no decisions. The Louisiana Lightning trying to get back to the winning track. Here's Troy Hunter. 275 average, two on months, a couple of runs batted in. As we're about to get underway in the four-game weekend series. First pitch is a fly ball in the left center field. Can a court for Griffey Jr. Under this one and makes the catch for out number one. So one down to kick off this ball game. As we take a look at the Texas lineup, Hunter, the Shields Jr., Clark, Banks, Ozzy, Camargo, Gallo, Andres, and Isaiah Kaina. That's your one through nine starting lineup for the Texas Rangers tonight. Here's the Shields Jr. We'll tell you his stats in just a moment. As the first pitch is on the way, another fly ball into left field. It's carrying well. The left fielder is right there. And he'll make the catch. That's Reggie or is it Ricky Henderson? It's Ricky Henderson who makes the catch in left field for out number two. So two pitches and two fly ball outs is Will Clark hitting a 273 with three home runs and eight runs batted in his sluggy percentage at a whopping 439. Big left-handed batter for Texas. Two out pitch. Swung on him in strike one. Ron Guidry with a win tonight will clinch his 200th of his career. He stands in with 199. So... We're keeping an eye on the milestone watch. The 0 on the clock. Swung on him is strike two. Oh, Going with that slider and clock is getting full. Nothing in two on clock. Gidry set at the belt. The pitch on the way. Strike three right on the corner and clock knew it. Side retire. One, two, three go to Rangers. Nothing across. Sox cover the bat. Zero, zero. Drew Smiley will be on the mound for Texas here tonight. He's one and one. He's paid, pitched at three games as his fourth. His ERA at 2.18. With 20.2 innings under his belt and 90 strikeouts and eight walks under his belt. As we get a look at Didi Gregorius leading off. Enter today's game with a four game hitting streak. Two out delivery to Didi. In the air, left center field. That could fall in. Oh my goodness, what a play by the center fielder. Charlie Hunter robs Didi. Holy cow. This is why he's a future Hall of Famer. What a play. And here's Keith Hernandez. He enters today's game with a four game hitting streak. One out, nobody on in a scoreless game. The pitch on the way to Keith. In the left center, right to the shortstop. And quickly, two down. Let's take a look at the Sox lineup. You got D.D., Keith, Thomas, Jackson, Griffey Jr., Hernandez, not Hernandez, Henderson, Mattingly, Boggs, and Grandal. That's your one through nine lineup for the Sox. Here's Frank Thomas. 
Smiley stood at the belt here. And the two out delivery to Thomas. On the ground, hot shot, base hit in the left field. So the big hurt with a two out single to left. And now bring up the meat of this order, Reggie Jackson. And if it continues, then it'll be Griffey Jr. Jackson's last four games, six for 14 overall so far this season. 437 average, 14 home runs, 32 runs batted in. The home run totals leads the team. Boggs with 12, Reggie with 14, and Griffey with nine. Man's at first two down, scoreless game. And a hot shot up the middle, diving stop by the shortstop and flips the second base for out number three. We've seen two great defensive plays turn by the Rangers. This time Ernie Banks shows off the glove. End of one, scoreless. Here's Ernie Banks. Four home runs, nine runs batted in. 414 OPS, average at 235. What a defensive showing the Texas Rangers did in the first inning. Troy Hunter with the diving center field catch. And then Ernie Banks robbing Jackson. It could have been a seeing eye single. So here's Banks in an 0-1 count. And a ground ball to short. Picked up there by Didi. Throws out Banks. No, we throw him off the bag. And Banks is going to be safe, and D.D. is going to be charged with an error. That's an E6. I mean, plenty of time to get him, but the throw was just way wide. And nothing that Manning Lee could do. So now, the batter is Ozzy Ambrice. Probably saying his name wrong. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, strike one. Let's take a look at the defense of the Sox later on. Already the Sox defense, a little bit of a letdown after that error. See if it'll cost them. There's a strike. And now it's 0 2 on Ozzy. Louisiana Lightning working with nobody out and a man at first. 0 2 count on Ozzy. A little bit chilly here in the Bronx. That's why you see him blow his hand a little bit. 0 2. And a fly ball foul, we'll do it again. Ozzy Albies in an 0-2 situation, the pitch. Another foul ball, we'll do it again. First of a four game weekend series here from the Bronx. Again, the 0-2, strike three right down the pipe and Ozzy knew it. One down, and for Gidry, that is his second strikeout of the night and here is Johan Camargo. Probably saying his name wrong, but close enough. Popped them up, first base side. Here foul ground, Mattingly is there. Makes the catch for out number two. Two straight outs after the base hit. Actually, the error made, not a base hit, but an error. And now bring up Joey Gallo. 259 average, five home runs, and 13 runs batted in. Enters this game with a four-game hitting streak on the line. And he fouls it straight back for strike one. The 0-1. Swing and a miss, strike two. 95 mile an hour. There are two outs, and man's at first after the air. Give me a strike away. The pitch. Popped them up first base side. Mattingly. Under this one. Makes the catch side retired. So Gidry and the Sox work out of that error. Leave, the Texas Rangers leave a man at first. And middle second. We are still scoreless. Well, Ken Griffey Jr. will lead off. Enters tonight's game with a 10-game inning streak. His average at 321. Slung your percentage at 773. On base OPS. On base percentage. 1.134. Smiley against Griffey here in the bottom of the second in a scoreless game. And the pitch on the way. Uh, hit on the ground toward the shift. Diving stop again by Banks. And he robs Kenny. 
Holy cow, our Texas Rangers continue to show off. Ernie Banks with another tremendous stop in the infield. And now bring up Ricky Henderson. The pitch on the way, a high fly ball, well in the center field, back is the center fielder Hunter right there on the warning track. He puts it away for out number two here in the second. Now here's Mattingly, hitting at 447, with three home runs, 12 runs batted in. Won the 2019 Silver Slugger Award for first base. Smiley with two outs under his belt. Base is empty in a scoreless game. The pitch on the way to Mattingly hit well to left field. And the left fielder makes the catch. That was easy as pie. Side retired. No hits, no runs. We move to the third inning in a 0-0 game. Superwoman 4 Unchained is coming to WN YouTube starring Linda Hines and Likra. I'm not even going to try to say her last name, so forgive me, Likra. But Linda and Likra team up for the first time in this epic showdown between Superwoman and Catwoman. It's coming soon to WN YouTube. Superwoman 4 Unchained produced, co-produced by WN and MMP Studios. And I want to thank MMP Studios for filming under the conditions that the entire world is in, a public health situation. You can't say the word on YouTube because you would get demonetized. So we're going to keep it that way. Pitch on the way. It's popped up to left field. Not a play, but we certainly hope all of you folks are safe at home watching sock baseball under the extreme difficult circumstances the whole world is going through right now. And a foul ball will do it again. 0-2 is the count. Elvis Andrus at the plate in an 0-2 situation. The pitch by the Louisiana Lightning is choked foul. And we'll do it again. Pitch. We'll do it again. 0-2. Oh, to delivery. Fly ball in the right. Carrying well. And Reggie Jackson makes the catch for out number one. Well, the standings looks like this. The Sox, once again, are blowing everybody out the water in the Central Division. With a 16-2 record, Kansas City is seven games behind, 9-9. I mean, the Sox are making this division look like cheese again as Isaiah Kiner will be at the plate now for Texas. And it's, I mean, the depth of this club is, is really is incredible. What they've built up the last 10 seasons is that's popped foul, left field out of play. And this year's a mixture of all-stars and players that haven't cut the mustard and also legends. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a mixed up team than it was the last few years. There's not an all legend scene. That's popped in the air to left and out of play for strike two. Gendry said in the 0 2 delivery. He struck him out looking. That is strikeout number three for Gendry tonight. And they're two down here in the third for Tory Hunter, who flied out back in the first inning. First pitch on the way is there for a strike as it hit the corner to the dismay of Torrey. The pitch on the way, fouled away on two. Texas is yet to record a hit in this contest. They do have an error. And a swing and a miss, strike three as Gidry strikes out two in a row. That's strikeout number four tonight. Nothing across, we go to the bottom of the third, still scoreless. Wade Boggs, the batter, enters today's game with an 11-game hitting streak. 12 home runs, 30 runs batted in, average at 330-86. His home run totals ranked two for the team. 
as we told you, Reggie leads the team with 14 home runs. Boggs with 12. Griffey Jr. with 9. As it's hit on the ground a second again. Picked up by Andres. He's got his man for out number one. So Drew Smiley settling down here. Again, the Sox 1, 2, 3 at the moment. The Sox have only got one hit in this game. And here's Grandal. Enters today's game with an eight-game hitting streak. 389 average, three home runs, a couple of runs batted in. Smiley against Grandal with one down here in the third inning. And a high fly ball, well in the right center field. Kiss it goodbye, so long farewell. It's a bleacher creature shot for Yasmani Grandal. His fourth home run of the season to the deepest part of our park. And the White Sox have a one nothing lead. And fans, you know what happens every time a Sox hits home run. Hey, Yasmani Grandal, this bunch for you. Man, did he unload on that one. No doubt about it. Straight away right center, and he knew it. That is a bleacher creature shot from heaven. What a shot. And it's a 1-0 sock lead. It's the first mistake by Drew Smiley in this contest tonight. In the left center field, that's got problems written all over it. It's going to be a diving attempt by the left fielder from Miss Pornley. Didi digging about three. He will stay at second with a double. So after Smiley, would look like he was pitching smooth sailing mode. Grandal takes him deep, and then Didi hits a gapper for a double. And now there's Keith Hernandez on an RBI chance with a man at second and one down to run his in. Smiley with the pitch on the way. Hit high in the air to right center field. Going back on the right fielder and center fielder looking up and scoring. So long farewell. Keith Hernandez with his first over of the year. A two-run shot. And the Sox have a 3 nothing lead here in the third. And fans, you know what happens every time a Sox hits home run. And Keith Hernandez, this bud for you. Two home runs in this inning, a solo bomb by Grandal, and now a two-run home run by Keith Hernandez. Is one of these innings the Texas Rangers were, were dreading. And here we are again. There is Frank Thomas. One for one today, lines it foul, strike one. Headed into this inning, Frank Thomas's base hit was the only hit of this ball game, but of course Grandal changed it. And then Didi and Hernandez added to the hit parade. Three runs, four hits total. And a little looper in the right center field. That will not be caught. That's a base hit for the big hurt. It's second of the ball game. So the hit parade is on, and now here's Reggie Jackson, when a man at first and one down, the infield is in, the outfield is normal. Texas desperately hoping for a double play to get out of this. Reggie grounded out his last time up. Thomas just short lead at sec, first base. Not a threat to run. The pitch on the way to her, uh, Reggie is the fly ball in the left center field. Hunter is there, makes the catch for out number two. Runner will retreat back to first base. Now so two down. And a runner at first base. Griffey. And the batter's Ken Griffey Jr. who's up for one here today. Rounded out the second his last time up. Three nothing Sox, two home runs. One on Grandal's solo shot, and then another one, a two run shot by Keith Hernandez, his first home run of the year. And a ground ball to second. Can of corn for Elvis, he's got it side retired, but not before the Sox scored three runs. 
Solo home run by Grandal and a two-run home run by Hernandez. And the three, three to nothing, White Sox lead. We go to the fourth inning and DeShields Jr., who flew out back of the first inning, leads off here in the fourth inning with his club down three to nothing. Louisiana Lightning back on the mound. And a fly ball to right. Can't accord for Reggie Jr. Under this one, makes the catch for out number one. The first base is number 22, Will Clark. Here's Will Clark. One-up delivery on the way. Swing and a miss, strike one. Will Clark last four games, he's hit three home runs, a grand total of four RBIs. The 0-1 on the way. Fly ball in the gap in left center. That's trouble all the way. Henderson going back. He can't get it. It bounces right in front of him off the wall. Clark's got himself a long one-out double. And for the first time tonight, the Rangers have a man in score position. That was a gapper, folks. And the batter is Ernie Banks, who's 0 for 1 here tonight. Pitch on the way. Swing on a miss, strike one. Pitch. Another foul ball, 0 and 2. Pitch again. Popped him up in the infield. A shortstop. DD under this one. Makes the catch for out number two. Now Second base. So two down. And now bring up Ozzy Albrecht. Who struck out back in the second inning of play. The pitch on the way when a man on base is a foul ball strike one. Oh one. Strike taken 0 and 2. Big opportunity for Texas to be get on the board here. If they don't, it's a wasted opportunity. Oh two delivery. And a high fly ball into left field. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? The answer is nobody. Miscommunication between Griffey Jr. and Hernandez. And instead of out number three, it is a confusing double. A run scores, and it's three to one. Wow. Here's Camargo with a man at second base, and two down and a run is in, and a foul ball strike one. So what should have been an inning-ending fly ball catch turned out to be more confusion than anything, which is very strange. Ground ball to second base, picked up by Hernandez. Throws the first in time, side retired. But a run does come in to score. And the Rangers have made this a two. Back at the stadium, we're in the fourth inning of play and a three to one sock lead. Nobody on base. And a high fly ball. Well in the left field. Going back on the outfielder. Still going back at the wall. It's gone. So long farewell. Ricky Henderson has just hit his second homer of the year. And it's a 4-1 to sock lead. And fans, you know what happens every time a sock hits a home run. Hey, Ricky Henderson, this bud's for you. An absolute towering fly ball. And the Sox extend their lead to four. Here's Mattingly. A line drive, base hit in the right. Yep. Or is it? Yeah, it is a base hit. So Mattingly's on with a hit. A seeing eye single to right field. And if you're a Texas Ranger fan, you got to hope for your sake, 
And this does not turn out to be a hip parade inning. The infield is in the outfield is normal for Bob. Who hits on the ground a third double play ball. There's one and two. Two down here in the fourth. Just what the doctor ordered the pitcher's best friend. A 4-6-3 double play. Here's Yasmani Grandal with a dead center field home run his last time up. Here is bases empty two down here and it's a foul strike one. Oh one on the way. Hit hard but foul will do it again. The 0 1. A chopper on the ground, a short, another dive by Banks. He is amazing. Holy cow, what a play! Three defensive plays by Ernie. He's showcasing his skills. End of the inning. 4 to 1, Sox lead. Here's Joey Gallo, leading off the fifth inning of play. Four to one, Sox lead. And Gidry still on the mound for the Sox. They're still got three run lead against the Texas Rangers. That's a fair ball down the left field line. The shift was on, and it did not work for the Sox. Gallo will hustle the second. He's got a lead off double to begin the fifth inning of play. The bat number two, designated hitter, Elvis. Yeah. Elvis Andrews now the batter steps in to lead off this inning and fouls it back strike one Elvis flew out his last time up And he pops it up. First base side, Manningley's there. Foul ground makes the catch out number one. The bat, the catcher, Isaiah, Connor Falefa. Here's Kiner. Swing and miss strike one. Runner on second base. One out. And a swing and a miss again. 0 2. 0 2 again. Foul ball will do it again. The pitch. Strike three right down the pipe. Don't know what Kiner was looking for. That is strike on number five for Gidry, and there's two down in the inning. Hunter. And now it's up to Torrey Hunter with a man in second and two down. The pitch on the way. A line drive into the gap in right field. That's going to be a base hit. Played beautifully by the right fielder, but nothing that he could do to get Hunter to go to second. A run will score. It's four to two. Sox lead. Now that is. Back to a two-run ball game. Well, Hunter is just a tremendous hitter, and you know, Reggie tried to get to stop that ball, but nothing he could do. So, the tying run at the plate, that's the Shields, with a man at second and two down. Fouls it back, strike one. The Shields have had a tough night so far. It's hit two fly ball outs. The pitch. 
On the ground is short, almost hit Hunter. A long throw by D, he is thrown into the stands. And that's gonna be the second error for Gregorius. It'll propel Hunter to score, and it's a one-run game at four to three. Dee rushed that ball, and you knew it was trouble. And now the tying run at second base for Will Clark. Pitch on the way, foul the way. A huge error by Dee Dee. And Texas has made this a one-run game, and they're just a hit away from tying it, or a blast from taking the lead. The pitch on the way to Clark, fly ball foul, we'll do it again, 0-2. O2 delivery to Clark, a fly ball in the left field, that's carrying away from Henderson. He's got it though, side retired, but a couple of base hits and a huge error. Scores two runs. Middle of the fifth, halfway through. to the DD. A ground ball to the shift to second base. Elvis got it. Throws the first in time. And there's one down. So a tough night for DD continues not only on the field but at the plate. And here's Hernandez. One on delivery to Keith, a foul ball strike one. If you just joined us, we have ourselves a pretty good ball game. Both pitchers trying to hold their own. But of course for the Sox, defense has let them down not once but twice. There's a fly ball in the center. Cannon caught by Hunter, and he makes the catch two down. A big error in the, in the top of the fifth, scored the third run of the ball game. And that's why Texas is within one. It's four to three in the first of four here from the stadium. Despite surrendering four runs, Drew Smiley has held his own. And because his offense of Texas continues to fight against Griffey, not Griffey, uh, Gidry, it remains a one-run game. It's a fly ball in the center. Cannon call for Tari Hunter, side retired. One, two, three, go to White Sox. We have played five at the old stadium. It's the Sox four and Texas three. Here's Ernie Banks who's had himself a spectacular night on the field. Three tremendous defensive play. He leads off here in the fifth inning in a four, three ball game. The pitch by Ronnie, line to short. Out number one. We'll be back with the RNWN tomorrow night at 7 o'clock again for game two of this four-game weekend series. Looking forward to that. Here's Ozzy. No home runs by Texas in this game at the moment. They played small ball, which has scored three runs, including an error. Two of them, as a matter of fact, delivered by the Sox. It's a fly ball down the right field line and played there by Jackson for out number two. Up next to the Rangers. Two down bases empty. You're at the top of the six. And Camargo will now be the batter. Foul ball, strike one. In the right center field. Canner caught for Griffey Jr. 
side retire. No hits, no runs to go to the bottom of the sixth. Still for the three Sox lead Texas. Reggie Jackson leads off. Here on the top of the six, four to three Sox lead. A very entertaining ball game indeed in the first of four from the old stadium. Line foul, strike one. In the air, left center field. Hunter going back, still going back to the wall leaps, and it's gone, so long farewell. Reggie Jackson with homer number 15 of the year, a solo shot. Just near the webbing of Hunter's glove and over the fence, and it's a five to three sock lead. And fans, you know what happens every time a sock gets all money, Reggie Jackson. This buzz for you. That's what you call a wall scraping home run. And that's gonna be all for Drew Smiley. He fought and fought, but could not get the job done. His call the bullpen brought to you by New York Telephone. We'll be back. Hi, we're here at Kansas Deli talking about the New York Telephone Regional Calling Area. And helping me illustrate is Deli Man Marvin Waldman. Did I use your correct title, Marvin? Is Deli Man the correct one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Uh, Marvin, what looks good today? Oh, well, I made a little model of the New York Telephone Regional Calling Area. The Locks is Long Island, the Gefilte Fish is Westchester and Rockland, and the pickled herring is the five boroughs. And practically all calls anywhere in this area are connected by New York Telephone. Right. If you call across the street, that's on New York Telephone. To Long Island, New York Telephone. And from the gefilte fish to the locks is New, New York, York telephone. telephone. A delightful presentation, Marvin. And if you're short on fish, just check out the back of your telephone bill. Regional calling from New York Telephone. Uh, Marvin, let me have a piece of Long Island uh, with a schmear. We're all connected in New York Telephone. Well, Sean Kelly's job is to keep the Sox offense at bay. It's a two-run lead now after the Reggie Jackson home run. And the tough cut to the he's facing is Ken Griffey Jr. Nobody out of runners in after the Reggie home run. A chopper to the second base and Elvis. He's got it. One down. Ricky Anderson, the batter. One for two with a solo home run back in the fourth inning. The pitch by Kelly. Strike one in the foul ball. Nothing at one on Henderson. The pitch on the way. A chopper to the shortstop Banks. He's got it. Two down. Here's Mattingly. In the right center field, that's a gapper. A base hit for Manley on his way to second, and he is yep, safe. He And now they're going to intentionally walk Boggs to set up a force play. 
And you wonder if that's the right decision. Because coming up, you got a guy who took Smiley deep to right center back in the third inning. Here it is again. A bleacher creature shot if you ever saw one. That's what Grandal did earlier in the third. And here he is with a big opportunity to blow this game open. With first to second occupied. And two down, and he's batting on the left side. The pitch by Kelly. Fly ball deep down the right field line in the corner. Foul ball by a foot or two. Strike one. The 0-1. A chopper up the middle to Banks. The ball hit the runner. It doesn't matter. Grandal is out at first side retired. Well, Reggie Jackson extends the sock lead at the end of six. It's five to three socks. No action in the sock bullpen as of yet. As we start the seventh inning of play, a five to three ball game as Gallo swings and misses strike one. Another foul ball, strike two. Pitch. Do it again. Texas has yet to show that power in this game or most of the season. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. Six strikeout for Gidry here tonight. And boy, the Gallo whip on that pitch. Here's Elvis Andres. Strike taken. One one. Popped him up third base side and field. Wade Boggs is there. Is out number two. Here in the seventh. Now Gidry with 63 pitches so far. Which part of the reason why the bullpen is not active at the moment. Isaiah Kiner now the batter. Two run lead for the Sox. Pitch count decent for Gidry right now. Well here in the right field, Reggie's gonna give him a look and it's gone. Well that changes the game dramatically. Kiner with a home run. His third of the year. And it's a one run game, it's five to four Sox. That is good piece of hitting. And now it's Troy Hunter. Now back, the center fielder, Troy Hunter. Takes a strike down the pipe. Now you gotta wonder, will the Sox get their bullpen up? We shall see. 66 pitches coming from Gidry right now. This one to Hunter who flies one to right field. Jackson looks like he has a beat on this. He leaps and it's gone. And this game is tied back to back home runs. Torrey Hunter with a game tying home run off the top of the fence and into the stands. And we're all tied at five. Holy cow. That ball just got out of here. 
And not by much. The Shields Jr. now the batter, who hits it on the ground. Pass the dive of Didi in the center. And now the runner is going to second. He got too greedy. He's dead. Side retired. But the Texas Rangers tie the game on back-to-back -back home runs. Time to stretch. 5-5 five, five tie. Well, we have action to the sock bullpen. Sean McMahon is now the batter, the pitcher for Texas, as Didi hits it in the right field for his first hit of the game. I believe that's his first hit of the game. No matter, it's a base hit. And the Sox have Sutton cooking here in the seventh inning of play. Here's Keith Hernandez. Against McMahon. The pitch. Line over the head of the second baseman in the right field. Two consecutive hits by the White Sox. They do have Sutton cooking here in the seventh. First to second, nobody out. Frank Thomas with a chance to blow this thing open. High five tire in the seventh. The pitch by McMahon. He lines it in the center field, coming on his corner, and he makes the catch. Runner will go to third. What a play by Tory Hunter again. One down. We have seen five spectacular defensive plays by Texas here tonight. And now here's Reggie. A chance to put the Sox on top. He hits it foul down the right side. Strike one. Jackson with a home run earlier. Left center field shot. A wall scraper. Now runners at the corners. One down. The pitch by McMahon. Fly ball deep down the right field line in the corner. It's caught by the right fielder. Here comes the runner to score. And the Sox have a 6-5 lead. An RBI sacrifice fly by Reggie. And I'll bring up Ken Griffey Jr. So it's a one-run game for the Sox. And they did it and scored it the small ball way. Griffey's hitting streak is on the line. He's 0 for 3 here today. The infield is in. The outfield is normal. McMahon. And that's it on the ground a second. And his inning is over. And Griffey's hitting streak could be over depending on the outcome of this game. But the Sox... Score one run and the seven. Six to five Sox lead. We're now going to pause for station ID. Fry here. Larissa here. Are you ready for this year's Bush Crosstown Classic? No, I'm just admiring this year's Bush Crosstown Classic display. I see it too, Skipper. Real answer. Oh, thanks, Tony. I meant the display, Skip. What do you think of the mug? Oh, you mean the free Bush Crosstown mug fans get when they buy a case of Bush beer. <laughs> yeah, Jim. You look real good next to it. Tony, you never look better yourself. Real. Raul Strong, 39 years old, will be on the mound for the Sox. Take over for Gidry, who's now on the hook for the win. He'll be going up against Will Clark, who hits it high in the air to right field. Jackson going back, still going back, leaps, and he makes the catch. Didn't leap, but he caught it right on the warning track for out number one. That was a long out. Here's Ernie Banks. The pitch by Strong is a strike. The 0-1. Crowd away, we'll do it again. 0-2. Six to five, Sox lead. 
The 0-2 delivery to Banks. Fly ball into the gap. In right center field. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? The answer is Reggie. Two down in the eighth. The batter number one. That was close. So now here's Ozzy Albies. The pitch by Raul to Ozzy is the strike. So Gidry on the hook for the victory again. But it's up to the bullpen to hold on to it. Pitch by Strong. It's high, one and one. 40,103 here at the stadium. Ozzy lines in the left field. Could be problems for Henderson. It goes away from him and he makes the catch. Running to get it. Side retire. One, two, three goes Texas. Six to five. Sox lead. Ricky Henderson will go up against McMahon. Here in the eighth inning of play. Fouls it back. Strike one. It is a one run game. And McMahon's job is to keep it that way to hope his offense can hit the stock bullpen. Dennis Eckersley is all set to go in the ninth inning. He's coming in for, the, for a save. The 0-2 to Henderson. In the right field. That's going to be a base hit. Now Henderson's on. Mattingly in the no one count. Runners are it's only one runner at first. There's a fly ball well in the right field, and it is gone. Solo farewell for Mattingly. Two run homer. That's a big one. His fourth homer of the year, and the Sox extend their lead to eight to five. And fans, you know what happens every time a Sox gets a home run. Hey, Don Mattingly, it is but for you. A frozen rope to right field. That is the classic Mattingly swing. What a shot. And that may be the dagger the Sox fans have been waiting for. Chris Martin will now come in to pitch. And here's Wade Boggs. Eight to five, Sox lead. Nobody out. Here in the eighth, the bullpen blows it for Texas again. A chance to keep this a one-run game, instead they don't. There's another fly ball, well in the left center. And that ball is gonna be off the 399 side. Boggs has a stand-up double. With still nobody out here in the eighth inning of play, and Boggs extends his hitting streak to 12 games. Here's Grandal. Darren O'Day, the former Sock, is in the bullpen. Fly ball, well hit the right field. That ball is gone. Another home run for Grandal, it's second of the night. And this game has gone wide open. It's 10 to 5. And fans, you know what happens every time a Sock gets a home run, a Osmani Grandal. This bud for you, and I think you could safely say that's the icing on the cake. Here's Didi. Still nobody out here in the eighth. Ten to five socks, but the Texas Rangers bullpen has let him down. Here's out number one recorded. Here's Keith Hernandez. Yeah. 
Chopper to second base. Elvis. Got him. Two down. We'll be on the end of March 7. The Sox take it on Texas. The game two of this four-game weekend set. We'll have it for you on W on YouTube tomorrow night at 7. Here's Frank Thomas. On the ground to third. This will take care of the inning. Side retired, but not before the Sox score four runs and a couple of home runs here and there. Last licks for Texas. They're going to need it. Down 10 to 5 against the White Sox. Well, Eckersley will be staying in the bullpen as Raul Strong will be on the mound to try to close this up. Johan is at the plate now for Texas. And there's a foul ball strike. So Strong will get the chance to close things out up by five. Fly ball to right field though. Reggie giving it a look. It's gone. So long, farewell. Johan Cromwell with a home run, his first of the year. And it's a 10 to six, Sock Lee. It ain't over until the fat lady sings and Texas Gets that one run back here in the ninth. No doubt about that one. That was a crush job. Here's Gallo, who swings and misses foul ball, right, not foul ball, strike one. It only been a strike anyway, but he's not impact. Makes no difference. The 0-1. Well, he's really aiming for the upper deck, isn't he? He's swinging viciously. He's missing those fastballs. And he misses all three. One out, Sox, two outs away from a victory. Now batting, the designated hitter, Elvis Andrews. Here's Andrews. One out of runners in. Strike one. And a ground ball to short. Make it second base. Hernandez to Manningly. Two down. Sox it out of way. The catcher, number nine. Isaiah Connor Falefa. Isaiah Connor to find a hope. He homered. His last time up. And a ground ball pass, not only but foul, strike one. Texas down to their final two strikes and their final out. That's down low, one and a one. And a strike, and Texas down to their final strike, and the 40,000 plus on their feet. Now, ready to cheer behind Raul Strong. Here they go, one by one, standing up and cheering. One, two. In the shallow center field, coming on is Griffey Jr. He's under this one. Ball game over. The Sox win it 10-6. They take game one of this four-game series. Gidry gets win number two. And the Sox have proved their record to 17 and two. A full team effort, no question about it. A good entertaining ball game. And Gidry with a huge sigh of relief. No decision this time, he gets the decision. He gets a win, his second win of the year. As Raul Strong does the job. That's gonna do it for the old stadium. We'll see you tomorrow. On the old stadium for game two. Final score, 10 to 6. Sox win it. Yours truly, John Thaville, saying good night, everybody. This is WON Brooklyn.